Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13, the show, and we've got Kevin Millar's road to the show coming your way right here. And as promised, this is another Q&A video. So we're going to go ahead and get to that. I thought this would be kind of cool to do before we went ahead and reached the postseason in this. Like I said, just a few more games left to go. So let's get to the questions. First one comes from C Decker 000 How's Hiram? Hiram's awesome. Today is actually his seven-month birthday. You guys don't know Hiram's my son. Um, and you asked, how do you spell it? It's H-Y-R-U-M. So, uh, no, it's really cool. He's about ready to start crawling. We're just working with him, uh, get his arms a little bit stronger. Then he'll be moving around. And he's already, like, pretty, pretty energetic. And he, like, moves when we hold him and stuff. He'll kind of, like, kick away from us just to get to either me or my wife. So it's going pretty cool. I absolutely love having a son. And I really can't wait till he gets a little bit older. I mean, I, I like that he's young. Don't get me wrong. But I just can't wait till the point where I can go ahead and just start talking to him and hanging out with him. So Hiram's doing really sweet. Thanks for asking. And yeah. All right. So next one comes from Greg. What is your favorite moment in Major League history? It's got to be the moment where Lou Gehrig uh, gave the luckiest man speech. I think as important as that moment was I think still a lot of people really underestimate exactly what was going on at the time and exactly what he was saying and it's really been an inspiration to me and in how I should act uh, sometimes it you know I just think about that moment I'm like crap I haven't been like that you know I haven't been you know, being composed uh, in difficult situations and, and stuff like that so that's got to be at least for me my favorite moment in major league history and I know it's not like from a game or anything like that, but for me, still a huge moment. All right, next question came uh, comes from Lazy Boy Recon one two nine. Were you ever seriously injured as a kid? No. I was never like injured per se, but I did get really sick. So in seventh grade, I came down with pneumonia, and. The doctors were just like, nah, it's just a cold. Go ahead and just stay at home. I mean, it was getting so bad, I would drink water, and it would make me throw up. It was just really, really bad and everything. And so I remember I had these, uh, or my parents were just like, you need to try to eat something. So they, they tried to give me, the, I remember it was Frosted Flakes, and I went ahead and I threw that up. And my mom was like, you know what? No, I'm done with this. We're going to take him to the hospital. So went to the hospital. And they're like, oh, actually, you've got pneumonia. And had I stayed home just a few more days, I actually would have ended up dying. So while I was not injured, uh, I did get really, really sick. And I've had pneumonia one other time since then. And it was actually really crazy because this was uh, a few years ago before I started doing commentaries. But um, I went to the hospital again for pneumonia. But I went to... Uh, the doctor, who's a different doctor. I mean, I stopped going to that guy. But uh, I was, he's like, so what? Uh, what's going on? I'm like, I've got pneumonia. And he's like, uh, you probably don't. I mean, a lot of people think they have pneumonia, and nobody really does. And then he, like, listened to my lungs and everything, and he heard that fluid was in there. He's like, yep, you've got pneumonia. And I'm like, aha. It was just because it was one of those things that, like, uh, scarred me so much like I just knew instantly what the feeling was so I don't know I'm always at risk apparently to go ahead and get pneumonia and like my lungs are scarred and stuff but I don't know um, next one comes from Gurry Cub do you know the muffin man yeah the one that lives on Drury Lane um, how did I do in elementary and middle school uh, it depends on what you're talking about like uh, how did I do? I mean, from a social aspect, I mean, I did all right. I was never, like, one of the popular kids. I was more of a floater. Like, I had friends in every single group. So that was actually a really cool thing, and that carried on into high school. As far as academics go, uh, elementary school was a breeze for me. Uh, I, well, no, I'm not going to sit here and, like, toot my own horn on that type of stuff, but... Uh, some of the stuff was just really easy. Now, unfortunately, when I got to middle school, because I was so used to stuff being easy, I didn't go ahead and try that hard. 
So middle school actually was a piece of cake, but my you know grades and stuff didn't show it. Same thing moved on, unfortunately, to high school too. I made the mistake of really not studying and stuff like that. So even in college, I did that a little bit. Now when I go back to college, you better believe I'm gonna be starting my butt off. I wanna make that same mistake again. Um, what team am I gonna be in Madden 25? It all depends on what uh, happens with Teddy Crocker. I still gotta decide what I'm gonna be doing if I can't like do a draft or anything. But for franchise, I'll be playing as the Houston Texans, which I gave all of that information out in the, um, in the last Rascot Recreation video. So you guys can check that out just for more information on that. Uh, what is my dream job? Sitting on my butt, making money, not having to do anything, like just hanging out at home. That's my dream job, not really having to do anything. So, um, Joseph Howard asked, how did I meet Tezza Dude? Well, Tezza Dude uh, sent me a message and he was just like, hey, would you mind checking out my channel? Just giving me some input and stuff like that. And a lot of people do that, which I'm okay with. I just, I don't know, I, I take a long time getting back to people, which is probably not a good thing, but unfortunately that's just how it is. But I watch this channel, I'm like, wow, dude, you're actually really, really good. And so like, we just started, you know, YouTube messaging each other back and forth. And then we talked on Skype and stuff and it was really cool. Um, so DG2 Wunderwaffler or Wunderwaffler is say i did that in german um he was my favorite youtube commentator well tezza dude of course because he's a friend of mine uh i've been watching uh frankie on pc in 1080p I like how he does his stuff so i'll just check in his channel every once in a while i don't have too much time to be able to watch other commentators so i don't know i don't get to watch too many other people so uh, who was my favorite teacher coach as a kid or teenager? So in sixth grade, we opened up a new middle school and I was the first class to go through that middle school. And my gym teacher was named Mr. Peterson. So he was really, really cool. Um, I remember like every day before he would like come in, like I'd set up some type of prank for him or just draw something really silly on the, on the whiteboard here. Cause uh, PE for us was a little bit different because they weren't actually done all the way with uh, with the school and everything and like the gyms they still had to make it when school started so we really couldn't do too much so we actually just like hung out basically for uh, you know a period but he was really cool I thought he was hilarious and a great guy and uh, one day we were actually walking out to the to the field and stuff because we were actually going to be playing stuff that day and you know, I told him he was my favorite teacher and everything. And he's like, Jeff, what would you do if I died? And I was like, I would go to your funeral. Well, like a couple weeks later, he had some type of heart failure in the shower and he ended up dying. And so I ended up going to his funeral. So he was my favorite. I was really, really sad when he ended up dying. I remember my dad telling me that day and I was just absolutely devastated. But he, I don't know, he was my favorite growing up. Um, how did I come up with the name Dunbar Snack Bar? Uh, it's off a, uh, a whole type of universe that uh, a roommate who I consider a brother and, and I came up with. It was actually on NCAA. He made somebody named, he started making people name the snack bars. And he came up with this guy named Dunbar Snack Bar. We went through this huge thing. Um, I answer this question every single Q&A video, so I guess you could go ahead and watch some of the other ones but um favorite player in any sport Lou Gehrig what is my favorite piece of advice or quote um live and let live I think I'm gonna go with that so um I think that it's important that people just stay off each other's backs um don't try to go ahead and influence people to do one thing or another I mean if somebody wants to do it that's cool but um, yeah that's probably my biggest thing there's a lot of little bits of advice that I try to live by but that's probably the biggest one for me somebody else is happy with what they're doing you got no room whatsoever to go ahead and try and change that so 
Um, if I were to join the military, what branch would I join? Actually, I was doing Air Force ROTC for a few months in college, but because of my work schedule and, and a few other things, I couldn't go ahead and finish it. So I was going to join the Air Force, and I was either going to be a drone operator or I was going to be a public affairs officer. So that's what I was going to end up doing. Um, what country would I want to go to Europe uh, to the most? England and why? Just because, well, it'd be cool to meet Tom. And then uh, a lot of my family history is based out of England. So that would be really cool for me to go ahead and, and go to. Um, Colin asks, what do my parents do? My mom is a stay-at-home mom. My dad was a captain on the police force, but he's retired. And now he helps out with uh, kids with special needs, like special education at our school system. So that's really cool because his dad was very, very influential in the special education system that we know as a whole. It's kind of cool seeing my dad do that. He actually wanted to be a teacher instead of being a cop. But because of stuff that happened, I mean, he just decided to keep being a cop and stuff. So. Um, now, why did I choose to play catcher? Well, there was a, a kid on our team who threw a slider, and I was really the only person who could catch it. So I started really playing catcher at that point. Um, and I had a lot of, I mean, it was fun. So did many players run on your throwing arm? I was pretty average. So I really didn't see anything different. But... Wow, there's a few more comments left to go. So, anyway, let's see. Maybe I can get one more real quick. All right, when did I start liking baseball? Uh, I've always started, or I've always liked baseball, like the game, but I really didn't start following it until about 2001, so 12 years. It's been a while, but uh, these last few years, I've gotten more into it than any other time in my life. And I still got some plans to be able to get a little bit more into it, like going ahead and doing like a fantasy draft and or sorry not a fantasy draft but a fantasy league something like that because I tried to do it last year but I just I don't know I just didn't go with it I that's my bad but anyway so it's about time Kevin Millar got pulled I mean if you guys have been watching you know gave up back-to-back -back home runs and then a hit and I'm facing right now uh R.A. Dick here he was the other pitcher that started and the last time I pitched against the Blue Jays they just destroyed me so, looks like, though, we're not going to be having a problem at all. We're really pouring it on them right here. It's 9-4. to four. Oh, there we go. Now we're done. All right. So, game's over. I end up getting the win right here. It wasn't pretty. I get uh, charged with four earned runs right here, but I get the win, so I'm okay with everything. All right, well, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for all those questions, too. I'll be doing this again later on, so if you didn't get your question read off, which I actually got through a lot of them, don't worry about it. You guys will have a chance a little bit later on. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thanks again, you guys. And as always, I hope you have a good one.